do a quick example. And this, I call this senior solar because you know what happens. A solar salesman comes to your house and says, would you like a huge tax refund? So Juan and Lola, they're married, retired. They put in this beautiful solar electric system because they were told they were going to get a $9,600 federal refund to offset the cost. However, Juan and Lola have a problem. Their problem is they don't have $9,600 in tax liability. They are retired, right? So in this case, their liability is only $1,468. They had $1,800 in withholding. So without the credit, they're going to get a $332 refund. You know, typical retired individual. Now, with the credit, and this is an example of how the form would look, they still they'll get a refund. It's just not what they were expecting. It's $1,800. They'll use about $1,400-ish of the credit, and they'll carry over over $8,000 of the credit to next year. So one strategy for them is to simply let them use it you know, $1,500 a year for five, six, seven years, and that's it. But there's a better way potentially. Now, I can't tell you if it makes sense for them because I have to do a little bit of planning work, figure out some things, but maybe I want to accelerate some income either in the year they buy it or the next year with the large carryover to absorb the credit. Now, because they're retired, AGI affects a lot of things, Social Security, IRMA. They still might be taxable for the state. So we have to factor all of those things in before deciding we want to